Hey friends, it's time for another player ID tip and today I want to show you how you can speed up your end-to-end -end tests using request interception. What I have here is a quick playwright script that requires Chromium, it spins up a new headless browser, it goes to Checkly HQ and it takes a screenshot. I also add console timing calls to measure how long it takes to run this script. And when I run it, you see that it takes roughly two seconds to go to this website and take a screenshot. But here's the thing, if you run only one end-to-end -end test, it probably doesn't matter if it could be 100, 200 milliseconds faster. But if you run 20, 50, 100 different end-to-end -end tests every day, then really every tiny delay matters and you want to make sure that all your scripts run as quickly as possible. How could you approach that then? Let's start by having a look at what is going on on the network layer. What you can do is you can attach an event listener and listen for request events to then log out request URLs. And when we run the script again, you see that, well, it's a normal website. It loads style sheets, scripts, images, and custom fonts. But the question is, do you really need all these resources when, for example, you want to test a login flow, when all you do is filling out an input field and submitting a form to test if account creation works? Probably not, and this is where request interception comes into play. What you can do is you can use the page.route function and you can match particular request route URLs, which then provides you with a callback and a route object that you can quickly abort. This is all it takes to cancel a request when this web page is loaded. And you can go even further and really block out all the things that you don't need. So you see a second page route call that also blocks out custom fonts and analytics. And with this, the loading of the website becomes super, super speedy. So let's run it again. And what we see now is that it was already 500 milliseconds faster than it was with all the resources when we ran the script. And this is how you can speed up your scripts using request interception. And I see you next week for the next tip.